I was in a much cuter outfit earlier today, but there was a bunch of construction noise. So I'm in a hoodie because I'm cozy now. Hello, my pretties, the witch is back. Daughter of Demeter, the goddess of the harvest, and Zeus, the god of the sky, Persephone, the goddess of spring, or goddess of spring blossoms, was also referred to as Kor, or Kori, the maiden. Demeter and her nymphs tried to protect their precious goddess of flowers, but most will know Persephone's story when it comes to Hades. The story varies by region and storyteller, but Generally, uh, Persephone was out in the fields picking Narcissus flowers and was then either lured or abducted by Hades to go to the underworld to be his bride. She is eventually returned from the underworld, but because while she was there, she consumed the fruit of Hades, pomegranate seeds, she was now bound to return and spend part of the year as queen of the underworld. Lesser known, I believe, about Persephone is that she does have two children, Melione, who is the goddess of ghosts and nightmares, my kind of gal, and Zagreus, who is the child of Zeus, her father, Persephone's father, and he disguised himself as a snake and seduced her. And then they had a kid, and that kid is Zagreus, and then Hera, Zeus's wife, was so upset by this, reasonably so, I think that she, um, maybe not so reasonably, got the Titans to attack Zagreus, but his heart was saved by Athena, who then Zeus took the heart and had a child with another woman, uh, Semele, and then they uh, put the heart into that child. And that child is Dionysus. But that's not what this video is about. Persephone's is the story of the seasons. When she's in the underworld, we experience winter, all of the blossoming plants and fruits die off from the lack of her presence and the despair of her mother Demeter. When she returns, we get new blossoming spring growth. While many of the more modern retellings of the story are told as a complicated love story between Persephone and Hades, like in Lore Olympus, which don't get me wrong, I actually really enjoy. Much of the original vi Are you gonna eat as loud as you possibly can now? <clears throat> I'm glad you're eating. That's fine. Okay, big stretch. All right, we're back. Many of the original variations are stories of abduction, are ones of being talked into something that we don't necessarily want, and of accepting an unfortunate fate. Persephone may make the most of it being the queen of the underworld, but because of this, she is one that we can turn to at times where Maybe we need to renegotiate terms or we need to remove ourselves from a situation that is no longer serving us and gathering the strength to do so. Persephone is also a goddess of duality. Maybe it's just the Gemini in my chart, but the idea of getting to be the goddess of spring and queen of the underworld, it really speaks to me. You can do both. To honor Persephone is to honor the seasons. To work with Persephone is to work with life and death renewal, your own dualities, your own shadow side, and growth. The time between seasons is when she seems to be most frequently celebrated, especially at the start of spring or around the last harvest. Thesmophoria is celebrated in October, which is the time when she is said to be going back to the underworld. But I felt called to make a video on Persephone right now, right after I did a video about working on a more uh, nature-based cycle. Winter is a time for reflection and stillness, and I'm going to take a note from Persephone while she is away and also work on my shadow side. I, like many, got swindled into the TikTok um, shadow work journal, but you can also find shadow work journaling prompts on Google or Pinterest or even a TikTok search. Other ways to honor or embody Persephone are to spend time outside, especially in the spring. If you can go see some spring blossoms, go compliment and admire her work. Gardening of any kind, of course, but also if it's winter, just taking care of house plants, maintaining these natural elements while she is away, especially if they are like winter blooming ones, those could be a great devotional act. Symbolism and offerings for Persephone include most plants, especially blossoming ones, so flowers, either fresh or dried flowers, 
especially Narcissus if you can get your hands on it. Torches. Torches are a symbolism also used by uh, Hecate. They represent the darkness of the underworld and guiding your way to and from that transitional place. Deer symbolism. I would not recommend offering deer in uh, 2024, but um, things with little deer on it, anything that evokes deer could be a good uh, little altar piece. Apples, they could be uh, fresh apples, dried apple slices, uh, apple seeds, pomegranates or pomegranate seeds, floral teas or floral scented things. If you are going to work with the goddess of spring, uh, it is also important to acknowledge the fact that she is also the goddess of death and the underworld and vice versa. With life comes death and she is a full circle. Let me know what other deities you might want me to cover. I mostly work with the Greek pantheon, but if there is a strong request for something outside of that, I will I will deep dive for everyone. Giving this video a little thumbs up, a like will let me know that I am doing a good job. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got a lot more up and coming for this year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!